Ladies and gentlemen, this was a fun ride, and I'm so thankful that I had the opportunity to share it with you all. I'm a new fan of the series who started with the anime as well as with the manga of the series this year, and for it to finally come to a conclusion, this was really awesome in my opinion. So hello and welcome to Underwise. My name is Soham, and in this quick video, I'm going to explain the ending of Boku Ben We Never Learn in regards to manga chapter 187. This is the quote and quote route number 6 and this is possibly the neutral route or the unexplained future route that everyone was expecting to see in place of an epilogue. Now for me this was a really great chapter for a number of different reasons and I'm going to explain why. But before that if you're new here then please consider subscribing to our channel since I do weekly anime and manga related content. We are also trying to hit 5000 subscribers by the end of 2020 so a like and sub would be massively appreciated. With that being said let's begin the video. So this chapter takes place several days after the conclusion of the school festival and we are in the general setting of the library where the three girls are trying their best to study but they are just not able to pick up the subjects. This is typical setting of Boku Ben and it was really nice for me to see it one last time before it all came to an end. And at that very moment the other two girls also join the free Asumi in a maid uniform comes to deliver the food and of course Mafuyu sensei is angry at her for wearing that maid uniform inside the school premises and all of these conversations lead them back to the school festival closing ceremony time because that was really awesome hilarious and fun at the very same time because this time it's the quote and quote harem route that everyone was expecting to see now granted this is not the exact harem route or the emoto route that a lot of people were expecting to see here but i'm really happy in the way in which all of this is handled here because not just uruka fumino and the main characters rather everyone literally all the other girls also jumped upon nariyuki including his sister mizuki so this was really fun and there you go that is one potential emoto route which a lot of the perverted fans were actually asking for there you go there's a wish come in true but at the same time we also get to see something which i was not expecting at all and that is the flashback scene of nariyuki's parents and this was really beautiful in my opinion the entire thing was really lovely and it goes on to describe the legend behind this particular scene and how future can be anything that we want and how it involves the wish and will power This was a really nice scene and I really like the dialogue choices that were on display here especially how Nariyuki's father talks about the technological advances of computers and everything popping up in just a couple of years. For some reason this was a really touching scene for me because it is actually relevant in the real world as well. And then we go back to the present where Nariyuki is thinking about the fact that legend or no legend there is no point in worrying about the future because we can make it whatever we want as long as we can believe in it because we are always at the crossroads between infinite possible future Now this was an awesome tease because it gives the validation to a lot of fan theories and fan fictions basically and it's just the author saying to us that go write your own fan fiction with whichever character you want maybe Ogata maybe Fumino maybe Mafuyu sensei whoever you want that is the actual truth and you do not need to be bounded by the story's guidelines in order to have a proper ending This was a really nice way of having an open book ending and this is something not a lot of series can actually pull off but here it was done in a very good manner because all the characters Uruka Fumino Mafuyu sensei Asumi and everyone is having a dream a sort of a dream sequence where they're imagining their roots Now some people might have a wrong assumption here that all these endings were actually false and they were nothing more than dreams but that is not actually what the author is trying to say here It is just showing us the possible futures that all these characters could have and of course we got all the flashback scenes here for all the different routes. This was really good stuff in my opinion. And in the very end it goes on to say that as long as we believe in that in every possible future and in every possible version of ourselves our paths will continue. And this is the final question of the chapter and X future. This was really well done in my opinion and again I was not expecting the flashback of Nariyuki's parents but that was also done really well in my opinion and again there is just so many different stuff that is happening here from Mizuki sniffing on her brother's shirt once again very typical of Mizuki and then showing us all the other character quirks this was really well done in my opinion but this is it for chapter 187 this is the ending of Boku Ben We Never Learn manga So now that we have finally come to an end of the series what according to you was the best route Now personally I of course liked the Mafuyu sensei route that actually had the wedding and everything but my personal favorite was indeed the Asumi route because that had the best character development and everything I will of course make a separate video on this particular topic soon so subscribe to the channel and hit the bell notification to stay up to date with all my latest uploads but this is it for the final chapter of Boku Ben We Never Learn What do you guys think about all of this please mention your thoughts in the comment section below 
So that's it for today, guys. Thank you so much for joining in. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel for more. This is Wonder Wisey, and I'll see you soon in the next one.